So I got me a four to five pound brisket here, uh, just part of a brisket that I'm going to cook up on the Weber Smoky Mountain, and it's going to be real good. I know that. I'm not going to do any trimming to it. It looks fine as is, but I'm going to use some brisket bark from Fire Hatch Rubs, which is one of my favorite rubs, and it comes out really good. I've used this before. I'm just going to go ahead and season it and season it well just all over both sides of it. I did put a little Worcestershire sauce on here uh, for a binder and then just put this seasoning all over it. And you can see how it looks there. We're just going to go ahead and let this set for a minute while I get the Weber Smoky Mountain heated up and uh, we'll go ahead and put this on. So went ahead and got them on here on the Weber Smoky Mountain. Got a probe there so I can monitor the temperature of the uh, temperature of the brisket and inside the grill. So we're going to see how this goes. Cook it till about uh, 160, 170 degrees. We'll wrap it uh, and see how this thing turns out. Here we go now. Look at that beauty. We are at a little over uh, 160, 162 degrees right now. Just pulled the probe out. Just look at that bark. Wow. That's amazing. You can see the juices there. So yeah, I'm gonna wrap this thing in some foil, put some apple juice, cook it till it's about 200 degrees or just a little over. That's just in, I'll leg it on this side. Can't speak enough of how well that looks. Amazing. What do you think? Wow, look at that. Got a nice bark on it. Get a close up. Yeah. So we're going to wrap this. Uh, let's add a little apple juice. Just some uh, apple juice. A little apple juice there. Just the Winco brand, nothing expensive or fancy. Just going to drizzle. Yeah, it's starting to get dark. Just put some of this all on here. Maybe a little more. Also, I didn't mention earlier, I cooked this with the fat on the bottom. Uh, I usually put the fat toward the heat. You know, I don't know. Some people like it the other way, but. Go ahead and turn this like this. And we're taking it back out there. Just going to put this right here. Let me go ahead and reprobe it if I can through this. And we'll let that cook till it gets about 200. Uh, you can see this is climbing down now uh -huh. to, yeah, it's in the 160s, so we'll continue to let this cook and uh, then we'll let it rest and we'll give it a try. Okay, so we just unwrapped it from this towel. Look at this. We let it rest for a solid hour. And wow. You gonna cut into it? Yeah, let me get a knife. It looks like you didn't even have to cut it. Let me put that in your mouth. Ready? Yeah, that's been resting in a cooler. Still very hot. Mm. So yeah, I mean, it turned out fantastic. Moist, tender, kind of just melts in your mouth. But I went ahead and I made a potato. Check this out, some jalapenos, cheese, some of that brisket, bacon, butter. Oh. And here it is.
good.